Hello, hello. Hello. It's us. I'm Holly. And Anita. <laughs> uh, floss tube number 19. So it is November, November 13th. 13th. Yep. You, what's hilarious is that we just had to look at our notes to tell you that because it's we're been, teachers. We've like been a long day. We have known this date all day mm -hmm. probably and dealing with our kids and yet. Yeah, I've already changed the date on my whiteboard <laughs> at work. So yeah, yeah. it's like it's, it's the fourteenth. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's done. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and now with the time change, oh. and it's so dark. Anybody else not a fan? I, don't know. I hate been... the time change. They say now that they do it for school children at the bus stop. This is how awful I am. I'm a teacher, but I'm telling you, let the kids stand in the dark. <laughs> in the morning. I would prefer to have well, and light on in the they, evening. And depending on when they get dropped off, they have dark at night. So I don't know. It's not. I don't yeah. understand. I just want to go to just normal. No one of this time change business. People who have babies. Oh my goodness. When my son was oh. a baby. <laughs> <gasps> that just screws the whole world up. Your whole schedule is a hot mess because I, the world has to change their time. It's bad. And you I, can't explain it to a, no. an infant. No. I, they're still on their same schedule. Oh yeah. Yep. It's terrible. Anywho. So we <laughs> just celebrated our one year floss tube <laughs> anniversary okay october 25th october 25th so yeah we're delayed in sharing that <laughs> <laughs> we're we paddling we're paddling guys i know we're still delayed in like past giveaway stuff that we need to mail and so we will have some giveaway fun for our anniversary <laughs> in the future i know not today. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not today. Clearly, excuse me, we couldn't even make a video happen on mm -hmm. our floss tube mm -hmm. It's my fault, kind of, but for, well, I had a good reason. You, you weren't feeling well. Right. Yeah, for over, over a month. Yeah. Like six, six weeks of that mm -hmm. nasty cough. I was at the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat, which we'll talk about in a minute. And I was still hacking that nasty cough, and I felt so bad. I felt like I had to apologize every time. Mm -hmm. like, I'm so sorry, because it was mm -hmm. ugly and awful. But I'm much better now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a good thing. Right. So that was one reason. And then my mm -hmm. sister was here visiting, mm -hmm. and my niece. And so our time was super short. And it's treasured mm -hmm. time, because we really only get to see them uh, once, maybe twice. A year they live in seattle washington so yeah we did celebrate in our own way though yes we did our own mini stitch along <laughs> with each other <laughs> to celebrate our anniversary yeah and it's yep it's heartstring samplery's love makes everything better mm -hmm. isn't that precious we love it so much i had my eye on this pattern for a long time and then anita and i saw it at Stitchville last spring mm -hmm. when we were um, shopping there for the um, spring Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat. And so we both saw it and had to have it. So right. we bought it together. So we thought that would be the perfect pattern A to nice celebrate with. A nice little stitch. Yeah. yeah. It was so fun. And yeah. it's interesting how different they turned out. Mm -hmm. um, our count is different. I think I used a 28, which means <laughs> used a 32. Maybe. Uh, it's mystery linen and I tried to count it and I thought it was closer to 30 but if Anita's is 28 <laughs> maybe mine is 32 because it's smaller mine is oh, yours is smaller yeah no question <laughs> <laughs> same amount of stitching though guys same amount Doesn't I'm matter. more wrinkly than Anita I had um I had ironed prior to stitching uh -oh. but not after yet so there it is isn't it sweet mm -hmm. I love it and then there's mine. Oh, Lola. <clears throat> and her fabric is kind of a. They're holding them next to each other. Oh, yeah, you can it's, see it when you pull back. You, you can kind of see it. It's see. kind of a mauveish. Mm -hmm. It looks a little peachy in the video, but it's right. not. It's it's kind of a pinky mauveish. But I don't, color. okay, from there I can't quite see the size difference. Okay, mine is a bit bigger. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
so it is. Good. But it was, we promise, side by side. Hers is <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was, was so much fun. Right. It's just a quick, sweet stitch. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Yep. It was really a joy. So um, we went, oh. Oh. The <laughs> retreat. We started talking about right. it. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love stitch repeat. There it is. That's what we do. We laugh a lot. <laughs> we stitch a bit. Laugh, stitch, repeat. And then we oh repeat it goodness. all over again. And yep. it's so much fun. So. So. We, we had a blast. We did. <laughs> we did, definitely. <laughs> because we always are excited to see our all of our friends mm -hmm. and then make new friends, which we always do. Mm -hmm. So many dear, sweet ladies that we all, and gentlemen mm -hmm. that we just want to take home. Right, and we can't. Right. So we miss you all. Yeah, we had hoped us. we had hoped at one point we'd win the lottery. <laughs> I was like, okay, see you guys in a week. Right, <laughs> we did. We pulled some money together for the lottery because we were really <laughs> hoping that we could just come back together come and reunite. Come back together. We didn't win. Hope oh, it's nope. a bummer. So, uh, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll we get together with other stitchers whenever we can. And keep in contact with them however possible. <laughs> Phone, email, Instagram, whatever. Um, but while we were there, Marlene. Uh, let's share okay. about Marlene. Marlene. I wish <laughs> I, you know, have shared my deep, deep love for Marlene <laughs> in past videos. But Marlene Stitching mm -hmm. by the Lake mm -hmm. is... Um, one of our dear, dear friends, and I love her. So we yeah. love oh. her so much. Definitely. Yes, we've joked to, to her often about wanting to move in next door, and mm -hmm. um, she did tell us that the house next door was a, up for sale <laughs> or was mm -hmm. going to be. And oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I was ready to get on Realtor.com. Right. <laughs> I don't know. The commute would have been uh, a tough one for really us. Really tough. <laughs> Arkansas is a ways yeah. from from our home in Iowa. So, yeah. But we're hoping we can make a visit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we want to come I visit our idea. sweet Marlene. <laughs> so, bless her sweetheart. She is so talented. She is mm -hmm. so talented on so many levels. She is a quilter. A punch needle artist. She is a cross stitcher, um, and that's just skimming the surface. Really, mm -hmm. she makes gorgeous project bags. Um, and now she started making these really fun market bags. She calls them. They're so sweet. Mm -hmm. They're just the perfect size, and they they fit over your shoulder. And so, she brought us <laughs> market teacher bags. Oh, you don't even know. <laughs> Look at, isn't that great. awesome? Oh, and they're just dreamy. Like I just want to carry it with me wherever I go. I use this it every is. day. Yeah, every day. Me it's too. lightweight. It carries Here's a lot. The size just right to now. Give you a... We've got. I've got report card stuff in it. I still have but, some. I have a little stitchy stuff in here. I I took it with me. Um, oh, to... I'll, I'll trade bags then. <laughs> A little bit of stitchy stuff. I um, Report I took it for stitchy stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I know. I have the better. I have the better contents. Um, because my dad <laughs> had surgery last week in Iowa City, and so I took it with me so that while he was in surgery, I could do a little stitching. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. Yeah. Yeah. So every day, Marlene. Mm, we love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Our angel friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> um, I think, okay, hold on before we continue with mm -hmm. our retreat chat because um, we're going to chat about it because we we had so much fun and it was awesome. Um, but, uh, you know, I heard Marlene share in her recent video that she had heard from several um, floss troopers lately that there are people making comments about how they don't like to hear about life updates or they don't the visiting part of floss tube they just don't really care for and I to be honest I felt kind of offended about that right um because 
we don't just get on here to just flash up, you know, some patterns and here's what we're stitching and see you later. Um, we have made so many precious friends mm. in the floss tube community and in the stitching community. And we are so grateful for those friendships oh. that have just really um, been a precious part of our lives. And so I just want you to know right now that if you don't want to hear life updates, mm -hmm. Um, or you don't want to hear about our lives, then this might not be this might not be the floss tube for you, and that's okay. Right. I just don't feel like we need to comment with those kind of comments on people's floss tube videos. No. Um, if you don't like it, move on. Right. So to keep it positive, I'm just I'm gonna leave it there and say that offended me. If you don't like it, just move on. You don't offend us by not watching our video. Mm -hmm. We have no idea. But you could offend us with your words. And I just really believe that the tongue is the most powerful muscle that you have. And you have the power to use it for good or for bad. And I always teach my students that they have the power to change the world um, in big and small ways. Right. And so we can also change the world for, for bad as well with our mouths and our typing comments so if you would please just be kind about that if you don't like it it's okay just watch somebody else but that's where we're at about that topic so back to retreat news well ditto oh yeah ditto <laughs> gotta do the ditto <laughs> i need to agree with me <laughs> well it is it's a community it is and and everybody is multifaceted just i mm -hmm. no there's nothing more to share <laughs> Everybody has a story in their mm -hmm. life, right? And that's, or multiple. <laughs> and that's what makes them who they are. And I I want that connection. Mm -hmm. I, I we definitely love do. We definitely that do. connection with all of my mm -hmm. floss tube and stitchy friends. So yep. that we're just going to keep trucking with it. Keep sharing. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope our friends will keep sharing about their lives mm -hmm. because we think that's important. All right. All right. So, Marlene. Okay. So... <laughs> Okay, so we were at the retreat. You have seen retreat photos, videos, mm -hmm. um, gifts. Just the whole experience was absolutely amazing. I would do it every month if I could. Oh, every weekend. <laughs> every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> every weekend. But, In fact, I've said to several people we should just start our own little commune. Mm -hmm. Stitchy commune. We all just huddle up together and live mm -hmm. together in one happy little <laughs> stitchy place. Wouldn't it be amazing? It would. It would. Mm -hmm. Big it would. sign you drive under Stitchville or Stitchy. <laughs> it's just something. I don't know. <laughs> There's already a Stitchville. Yeah. Uh, we'd have to come up with something else. I know. <laughs> uh, but while we were there, yeah. we did do, um, we we bought some stuff. At, at Stitchville. Stitchville. <laughs> How do you not? Go How, there. How do you seriously? Not go? We went. Oh, we're just gonna drop in. We went and ate, and then we we're just gonna drop in. What three hours? Is oh yeah, three hours? easy, easy. And I could have stayed longer. Mm -hmm. I really could have. If I had left and had a coffee or a soda <laughs> or something, I could have gone back. Like, <laughs> but it was just like, really, I gotta go. We're we're you know, I, we're done. <laughs> I have to tell a quick, funny little story. So we ate at Panera, which is right by mm -hmm. Stitchville. And a quick before we went in there, because we were pretty hungry. And um, we're sitting there and we're eating. And all of a sudden, I see Anita giving this kind of sideways. <laughs> She's getting all excited. <laughs> We've shared this before. We think Kim Parda is amazing. Right. We love her. We love mm -hmm. her voice. And she's got an awesome floss tube. So go watch Kim Parta. P-A-R-T-A. But Anita spots Kim Parta across the room. <laughs> and I got the cutest picture of I her. I freeze. She <laughs> I just went Botox. It is. But nothing. her eyes are looking. Like, so I've got this nothing. sideways look of Anita. It's, it's going, almost like, here, here's my fork. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> She's totally fangirling, like, oh my gosh, there's my Kim Parda. Well, and I did at the retreat, too. Like, there, yeah. there are people that were there, and it just, <laughs> no, I'm not going to go up and say hi, because I'm going to say something silly. You know, right. i got to calm down, you know. So just... what's hilarious about that is that we have people that treat us that way, and we feel like that's ridiculous, because we're just your average Joe. <laughs> mm -hmm. But so are all of the other, like, we shouldn't feel that way. We should just oh, be I confident. Asked for, I asked say for hi. autographs. <laughs> 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 you sign my pattern, please. please. You know, 
Oh, Tonita, A N I T A. So, if you were at the retreat and you were hesitant to come to us, please don't be, because we're just like you. We do, yeah. We it are. Was... Oh, my. So, we anyway, go in fangirl too. We did do some damage, though, at Stitchville. And yes. I didn't even bring all of it because some of it has already been put away because it's been a few weeks. Yeah. But I did have a pile. I was able to dig it out. <laughs> no. Okay. So long dog samplers. I'm not sure <laughs> how to pronounce that. Watch it. Oof. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh. I don't know. There it is. Isn't that pretty Isn't that though? cool? That is so pretty. That's a cool long dog. A lily bit. This is called Spots. I love that. And you can see I was back in the, the sale area that people oh, have been yeah. talking about. Mm -hmm. because... That's where we go. When we go there, we Ooh, just go straight to the sale area. Yeah. Oh. Back in the back 40 in the corner, and we just get all hot back there. Oh, so, Little here? House Needleworks, caring and sharing. Oh, this should be another. Right? Yeah. We should do this together we do as this well. One. It's so cute. I've never seen this Little House one mm -hmm. before. So cute. Um, Kathy Barrick. Uh, I just really enjoy her designs, and this is called Into the Manor Born. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. like and then that. Swan Valley Revisited by Carriage House Sampling. And I plan to change some of the colors on this one. I know you showed these to me, but I'm looking at them anew. Like I've never because mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I've never seen them before. Mm -hmm. It's but then, just... you know, they got us for me for like full price stuff too. Oh, yeah. Uh, Spring Snow uh, by Ink Circles. And I saw this on one of Pam and Steph's videos. They were at Dixie Darlings. Uh, it could be. Maybe. And it was on the wall. And I was like, freeze, go back, check it out, and pick it up. Uh huh. That's I love sweet. That. It's so sweet. Oh, so Spring Snow. And then I got a um, Sea Harper. Um, corn. Corn prone. Corn prone. Cardinal courtship. So cute. So cute. Look at that one. <gasps> and then <laughs> bird bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh so cute I know, and you know i know they're in older older designs but just the but humor. so cool like really oh. and then, yet they look so mod they're supposedly old but they look so modern i i can just see them grouped mm -hmm. like in one area would be mm -hmm. really cute and then ink circles uh diversity in beer is the name of it but i thought the pattern was called celebrate diversity but <laughs> Whatever, there it is. <laughs> and this is super cool. I mean, this is so nice stitched up. They had the sample up on the wall there and just sealed the deal. So, all right. That was what I could find knowing we were going to tape. Today. Right. I, I <laughs> bought a big pile of fabric. <laughs> Oh, it was yeah, a pretty yeah. hefty pile I, of I pile fabric of fabric, too. like yep. pretty hefty. Some lakeside linen, and yeah, I'm very excited to find lakeside yep. there. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm not going to show you all my fabric, and that was the big meat of what I did purchase. But I'm just looking that I have so much stuff everywhere. Okay, so we showed you the um, caring and sharing. Mm -hmm. Isn't that adorbs? So cute. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know what it is, but suddenly I'm on a peacock kick. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. I don't know. So this is Stacey Nash. Yeah, there is a theme going on. Right. We, we noticed that when I came At some over point, a few days yeah. ago. It was just like, hmm, I like peacocks. Have you no. noticed? <laughs> Stacey Nash, Primitives, mm -hmm. Birds of a Feather. I do not. Oh, that kind of comes up a little better on the video than it, it does. does in person. It's really dark. In person. In person. Yeah. It's not a good photograph. And, um, oh my goodness, I love this one. The more I look at it, the more I love it. Mm -hmm. It's Bright Needle, um, Sweet Summer Sampler. And I'm a huge, I love sunflowers. And I just think that's the most precious design. 
I absolutely love it. Let's mm -hmm. brighten it up. And then I found a plum street that I've never seen before. Oh, it's called Beloved. Mm -hmm. Isn't that just sweet? 1990. Yeah. Oh, no, it says 2008. Oh, no. 2008. But here's an area that said 1990. Caught my eye. I wonder if that's the year she got married. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. So sweet. And then with Thanksgiving coming, I hmm. just don't have a lot of fall patterns. I think I talked about this last year and made a fool of myself saying there weren't a lot of Thanksgiving patterns, but there are. Mm -hmm. So um, this is um, Seekus and Company Turkey Square. I thought he was so cute. Just precious. So there's that. Oh, and then um, a few regular price items. I have always wanted one of these square kind of gauges to help mm -hmm. you, you know, measure. From the corners. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What do I say? <laughs> anyway, so I thought this one was really pretty. So I grabbed that one. And then I am a huge Blackbird Designs fan. I love Blackbird. <laughs> <laughs> love, love, love blackboard designs. So I particularly love these little Reward of Merit pin cushions because they're a quick stitch and they're super pretty. So I hadn't gotten this one yet. This is um, My Pink Rose, I believe. The sticker's going to go line it up. Oh, I just think that's so cute. Mm -hmm. And then I found this one, which I don't oh. think this one is available anymore. I think I got lucky. This, this one's from pretty. 2009. It's... Um, this one's just called Small Token. And I just thought that was so adorbs. Love it. So I got that one. Mm -hmm. So those are some of my... Oh, and I bought some um, Pat Carson needles. I love those. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's kind of what I got. And then... Um, oh, I have a lot of other things from... <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Dash and load. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, there was a big gap between our last two videos and we didn't share most of that just because, you know, how do you go back that far? But well, no, we I've got other piles bit. for that. <laughs> <laughs> this is recent. We can share a little bit. <laughs> anyway, just before we move on from retreat, mm -hmm. um, it was a precious time. We had so much fun. Oh, yeah, oh. I have a story to share. Oh, yeah. And we got to share our mugs, too. We're all over the place. Well, especially, look at this mug. <laughs> Twin Cities. Isn't that beautiful? The, the color. I and love the color. And it's inside. navy blue on the inside. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Love it. So, yeah. Well, now I'm on a Starbucks mug kick. Like, everybody and several other people have been as well. So, mm -hmm. I really want an Iowa one. <laughs> I don't have an Iowa one. I have a Twin Cities one now, and I have an Oregon one. Oregon, yep. I need an Iowa. I got to so, get over to Starbucks. And then mine, Booth Bay Harbor, or Haba. 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 <laughs> In Maine, so, Pam, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and remind me, were we, I think we were in Minnesota when you got that mm -hmm. at a Goodwill. We were. Yeah. Right. How cool is that? Yeah. We were there looking for... Uh, things that we can use to finish projects and I walked by and I backed up I'm like are you kidding me because I just spent the weekend with with Pam yeah and Steph and you know we were talking about Maine and how much we had in common there and um then all of a sudden there it was there it was very exciting amazing so it was meant to be it was mm. so Okay. Um, before the retreat, we participated in a smalls exchange. With... Oh, no, we can't leave the retreat yet. Oh, we can't. We Sorry. Gotta... Back up the train. <laughs> Anita and I did not participate in the exchange at the retreat, the two exchanges at the retreat, because we just did not have the time necessary to prepare mm -hmm. for that. And I am telling you what, go watch some of our friends' videos. Wow. The, the smalls that were... Yeah, I mean, it, it was so out of my caliber. I was glad that I didn't participate because I, I never could have. Yeah, I would have to throw money into oh, my. <laughs> right! <laughs> have a little tuck in the pillow where I could stick like some a 20, sandwich. Twenty dollar right. bill in it or oh something. But oh, like, the talent! But, oh, wait, the we, talent was amazing. We're not there. No. <laughs> in the land of talent. Mm -hmm. No. 
So it was a good thing that we did not participate. But what something that was really important to us that we wanted to participate in was that there was a raffle. Um, oh, and the raffle was um, for, uh, help me, Pine... What is the name? It's an animal shelter. It's an animal shelter uh -huh. in um, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where um, our friend Teresa Vanette, Kitten Stitcher, and um, Jen from Jen Stitching Niche, Jen Regan, are both from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And it's an animal shelter there that Teresa has been very much involved with. Um, and it was just near and dear to our hearts to want to support her, to support the animals there. Um, and actually, she is still fundraising for them. They have so many mm -hmm. needs. So please, please go to kittenstitcher.com right. if you would like to participate mm -hmm. also. But there were several items, I want to say 21 items that were donated, beautiful things donated for this raffle. And we bought raffle tickets. Mm -hmm. And we would just put them in cups next to the items that we were interested in. Um, and here, Teresa... Can I just tell you, first of all, how much we love her. We love her. She is just so wonderful, as you know, because... So genuine. So and genuine. So talented. And so talented. And so giving. So incredibly generous and kind. Yeah. So this is her animal shelter that we want to support. Mm -hmm. She had two gift certificates on the table, two separate gift certificates, each for $100 for her shop she also donated um she created a pattern for us which i'm sure you've heard we're we are the last ones to this party on the right. retreat so <laughs> we're not sharing all of this showing you because we know everyone else has mm -hmm. but Teresa made this gorgeous pattern it was retreat exclusive oh. it's never going to be sold it was beautiful and she mm -hmm. finished it on this candlestick i'm sure you've seen it her piece that right. she made as the example of what we were going to create. Um, she she also donated that as a retreat so or generous. a raffle gift. Yeah. So generous. And then she bought raffle tickets toward the raffle. I just bowled over. Just no to, words. No words. None. None. No. Incredibly generous. And in the gifts that she put in the... Um, Goodie bags, she and Jen from Jen Stichunich, so generous in mm -hmm. what they, they gave to every attendee. There were 75 people there, and um, we just can't say enough mm -hmm. about how much we love Teresa and Jen, too. Mm -hmm. um, just love them. So, oh, yeah. <sighs> Susie Reno, love her so much as well. Just talk about a delight. I just adore her. I think she's absolutely adorable. So if you haven't seen Susie Reno at Fostube, please go watch her videos. She is a hoot, super funny and super genuine as well. And just, just a sweetheart. So Jen, Jen, Susie had shared on her Instagram that she was making these super cute little bags. Aren't, isn't that just darling? I mean, just super cute. And cute little handle here. It zips open. And the then fabric. there's, yeah, mm -hmm. just so cute. Super adorable. And I was like, oh, Sue, if you have time before the retreat, I would love if, if you can whip another one up. Because I knew that she had <laughs> intentions for these little bags. So if you could whip another little one up, I would so love to buy one from you. And she asked of the ones that she had pictured what I would prefer. And I was like, hey, just pick something happy. I just want something happy and cheerful. So she brought me this bag, which if, I don't know if I tilted it far enough, she put a couple of little goodies in here. These nut goodies are made in St. Paul. So I love that. She had to put a little bit of Minnesota in there. And then, oh my goodness, if you guys haven't had these Dots pretzels, they are to die for. Super yummalicious. I've never seen them in these No, uh -uh, <laughs> I've never I was either. like, oh, stinking cute. We've mm -hmm. seen them in the big ones, but right. not this sweet little snack size. So she put these in this bag for me and gave it to me in this cute little button that says I itch to stitch. Stinking cute. Like, oh. And she gave it to me. I'm like, okay, I need to pay you for this. And she said, I don't even know what to charge you. Um, and so she said, how about if you buy a couple raffle tickets and give them to me and I'll stick them in what I want to. But she said, I'm going to put your name on them so I know if I win something that it's like it's from you. 
And I'm like, okay, cool. So I bought a couple tickets and I gave them to her and um, she stuck them in. And sure enough, we hit the raffle. She wins one of the gift certificates mm -hmm. to Teresa's shop, which we were just, I oh, was jumping was up and down. Oh. <laughs> we high five each other. I'm like, yes! It was so, I was so excited that she won. And it had my name on the back. So I was like, yes! Just so excited about that. They go to draw for the other one because I really wanted the gift certificate. That was what I wanted, really. If I okay. could be chosen for something. I mean, even if I hadn't, I didn't care because I wanted to support Teresa's cause. But if I had been chosen, I really wanted a gift certificate for her shop. And sure enough, if they didn't draw my number <laughs> for the second gift certificate, I about died right yeah, there. It fell over. Right? Like, oh, it was like goosebumpy. I wanted to kind of cry. It was great. So amazing. Was. So yeah, I just had to tell that quick little quick little story. It was really it was really cool. There were lots of goosebumpy moments like that. Right. Um, which you may hear if you go to some of our other friends' um, videos. Go check out our friend Kathleen mm -hmm. um, from Kathleen's Trodden yeah. Trail. Kathleen is same, you know, mm -hmm. incredibly generous and just the most oh. beautiful, loving spirit. Yep. I had never met Kathleen before until we came to the retreat and we just made another lifelong friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? These people are people that we cherish, mm -hmm. that we bring home with us in our hearts and carry with us. And just because you go to a, treat, a retreat and you're, you meet them doesn't mean you're just like, okay, whatever, and you go home and it's over. But those are people that we carry with us. Mm -hmm. So... It was a joy to it was. make new friends, meet new people, and we mm -hmm. carry them with us. So, love you, Sue. Thank you for this adorable bag. Love you, Teresa and Jen, mm -hmm. Kathleen, Marlene, oh, all our buddies. Everybody. Pam and Steph, mm -hmm. the whole world, pretty Southern. <laughs> <laughs> we just go on and on. Everybody it's there. Everybody. <laughs> and all the people that we met that were just so lovely. Mm -hmm. So lovely. So, hugs all around our stitchy friends. So... It was awesome. Can't wait to do it again. Yeah. So before this retreat, <clears throat> we did participate in a smalls exchange. We did. Before things kind of got hectic and you got sick. Right. So that kind of consumed our time right. of when we would maybe be stitching something for the retreat that we were stitching for yeah. this. It's kind of just a private little exchange between a group, a group of us. Mm -hmm. Well, this year, um, it's not like an autopilot kind of year because I changed grade levels. Mm -hmm. you know, instead of continuing with my previous grade level. So just the learning curve and the amount of work and it it just wasn't time to commit. But we did get in a smalls exchange yes. beforehand. And so I brought some bits and pieces from mine. Um, Who did you stitch for? Uh, Michelle, Rudy, farm girl. Yeah. And um, she has pictures. It's a pin cushion by Shakespeare's Peddler. Yes. One of the... Um, Jenny Bean. Jenny Bean. It's like, it's mm -hmm. called, a, um, what, Teresa what calls it a tuffet. Jenny Bean's tuffet. Mm -hmm. It, so Anita, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going to gush. She, <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I'm totally gushing. That would have been like gift worthy. If you go to our Instagram, treat. we have a photo of it. Yes. Right. So she personalized it. So instead of putting Jenny Bean's name on it, she put... And Rudy on it, mm -hmm. and it is, it seriously is. And amazing. this year's date instead of, oh, you know, whatever. It's beautiful. She it changed fun. up some colors. It's it's beautiful. It was fun. Yeah. So, and, and then I stitched for, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No. <laughs> and then I stitched for um, Lisa Kindred Stitcher, and she shared about what I gifted her on her video mm -hmm. um, after. Post retreat. So if you go to her retreat video, Kindred mm -hmm. Stitcher, um, she'll show you what I stitched. It was a blackbird design. <laughs> and May Basket. No. I know. Shocking. <laughs> and we had talked about May Baskets oh, back back right. last spring. And so I stitched May Basket for her from Blackbird Designs. It was super pretty. Do you have a hair issue? No, I am. It keeps going whoop. <laughs> But no, Look like at this cute, is like, just you know, embrace the whoosh. This is what you get this time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> just, Serious gray at least hair. I'm not doing this, you know. 
I need a haircut and a color. It's happening Thursday. I got two days. I'm hanging on. So you'll see me doing this a lot to get uh -huh. my hair out of my face. But <laughs> so um, on ins on our Instagram, mm -hmm. I posted multiple photos of the smalls that I got that I received in the mail uh, from Kimmy Watson, and it just <gasps> it. Botox moment. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> this huge package arrived at my house, and I'm like, I am not opening it. Ah, like, that's because what she told me. Because <laughs> I knew it was coming. I had talked to uh, Kimmy, and she's like, she just needed verification. It was there just to feel like, okay, oh, good, it's there. Ooh. It's in the right hands. Yeah, no, go. She's like, I'm not opening it. What are you talking about? Mm -mm. Open it. I've never, I've never. <laughs> Yeah, and it was wrapped in all these layers, oh. and it had all these um, paper art that was stamped and glittered, and there was a theme, shine, sparkle, stitch, and I just, oh yeah. Okay, just to give you just a little just idea. Just a glimpse. A glimpse. Of this the is, talent here. This is the Good card. night. Look at that. Look at that. See the sparkle? Oh. I should frame it. Right. <laughs> this, might, this might get framed, because <laughs> this... I'm serious. It's stunning. Yeah. Yeah, I got to the car and I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to see anything else. <laughs> oh, it was just amazing. Well, anyway, so the shine part, I found that. Is, is this a sparkle? Is this a shine? Was it sparkle? One of them. But look at that. You can see so that. pretty. And the whole theme was of bees was the theme of this and it's just so much fun it is i have it in my um stitching area and it just catches the light and natural light or my magnifying light it's just so pretty so pretty i love that, <laughs> Look at that. so then i'm like okay i'm done you know <laughs> once again there was a pattern in it um that had buttons with it, it there was a, a stitching journal that I've already started using, but I don't have it here, but okay, ready. Look at this talent. So gifted. Oh, stunning. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to do any more small changes, but I can't do this. Like, look at, look at how she did the ribbon. And it is flawless. Like, there's the bottom. I can't see a single stitch. I have no idea how this was put together. No. Can you? And there's no, there's no big, like me, I would have, there would have been a big <laughs> seam right up the center of that. <laughs> it would have been a big mismatch. And I would have been second guessing everything. Even look at that. Even the wooden button. Uh, can't even take it. It's so pretty. Can you believe that? Makes me want to sing. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Oh, there. And I'll just go Botox. I'll just, right, right now, I'll just pull out. No, can you believe that? Seriously, uh, from someone that we've never met in person before? Never met in person. But thank you. I am serious. I look at it every single day. Mm -hmm. I'm just so grateful. So, I, I would look at it every day, too, if mm -hmm. I were in proximity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well done, Kimmy. You That's are impressive. a rock star. And this, really, like, we look at stuff like this and go, oh, we're not worthy. Yeah, I can't <laughs> believe we, it. Yeah. I want to be able to do that. And mm -hmm. I I have no clue how. Mm -mm. So Hey, but we own walnut shells. <laughs> 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 we own <laughs> Yes. They are walnut in our shells. possession. <laughs> So it appears yeah. we know what we're doing, but no, no, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Mm -mm. no. We oh. in fact, the small that I made for Kindred Stitcher for Lisa, who truly is a kindred spirit oh, for me, definitely, seriously, mm -hmm. love her. Um, <laughs> I had so much help with that. Like <laughs> I can't even tell you <laughs> how many hands had to come together. If it weren't for my friend. Deb, mm -hmm. my friend Deb Needle and Spoons, yeah. my friend Kathy, mm -hmm. 
my friend Anita. <laughs> it never would have happened. Those three, like, yeah. huge help to me. Mm -hmm. And still, like, don't look too closely at the back where I just stitch it together. <laughs> I'm like, Lisa, <laughs> forgive the fact it looks like a third, a three-year-old stitched the back of it. I'm sorry. I Because I don't know how to make it look pretty. I don't know. So, anywho. <laughs> oh. Mine. Oh. I know. Once again, yep. speechless can hardly. Oh, it's just. I, seriously, I got tears opening it because it just means the world that someone would want to do something so special for you and so personal. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the person who stitched for me um, is Lori McCleary, who is um, tech stylist on Floss Tube. Mm -hmm. Such a, such a sweet, sweet <clears throat> heart. She is so smoochy cute. Um, she's absolutely mm -hmm. adorable. And I just, I love her to pieces. <clears throat> such a dear friend. She, <laughs> okay, so I have, pref I have to preface this with, know how this came about but I don't know probably within the last 10 years I have just had a deep love for seahorses I love seahorses we go to an aquarium that's where I can't wait to get to watch the seahorses because I just think that they're so delicate and beautiful they're so pretty and so fun to watch and there's such an abundance of them here in Iowa <laughs> <laughs> why I love them because I hardly get to see them because well, we live in the we, middle of the United yeah, States. Yeah, you have to head to a coast. Right. Right? It gives us a, a, another reason to right. get on a plane. Although I can see them in Chicago. The aquarium True. True. does The have, Shed Aquarium in Chicago is, is amazing. It really is. Like I've had friends who have gone to mm -hmm. aquariums on the coast and they don't compare to the Shed. Mm -hmm. Anywho, look at this. <gasps> oh. Isn't it stunning? It's so beautiful. It was her first drum. She'd never made a drum before. And she stitched this in silks. I am not worthy. Seriously? Whoa. And she loved it. But look at it. Even, I just love that she did the fun, that crazy ribbon, just like the ribbon that was around Anita's. What a fun way to finish it off the top of it. It's like a cute little oceanic crown <laughs> on the top of my precious seahorse. I love this so mm -hmm. much. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. And then she stuck in, because I, Anita and I both are huge ocean lovers. <laughs> we love the ocean so much. Yo, this was nice. Seriously, I love sand dollars. And she didn't know that I love them so much. Like, this is such a treasure. She has a sand dollar collection and she gave me three of her <laughs> sand dollars that she's found on the Washington coast, which is also so precious to me because my sister lives in Seattle. And so I've been to Washington now and I know of its beauty. And I mean, seriously, to find these whole, mm -hmm. intact, and then to give them, bless her sweetheart. I love you, Lori. And then... Look at this cute guy. Isn't he cute? So cute. This is pretty heavy. It's kind of, would you say brass? Mm -hmm. I would say brass. Mm -hmm. Such a cutie patootie. So darling. Well, and all of this goes in your home so well. Yes. The oh. colors in your home. <laughs> well, there right. it is. <laughs> Love it. And then she gifted me with some trim, mm -hmm. some lady dot trim. So look at all this. Heavenly gorgeousness. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, some more of the ribbon that she finished the top with. Oh my goodness. And, yeah, I'm not done. I feel so unworthy of all these beautiful gifts. Mm -hmm. Good night. <laughs> oh. Victorian motto sampler threads mm -hmm. in these gorgeous, gorgeous colors with this amazing mermaid hook. Mm -hmm. To the yeah, ring. I'm starting to think I need some bling on all my rings. I know! <laughs> like, I think this, it looks so cool. So cool! Oh my word. And, mm -hmm. I'm going to top it all off. Seriously, I can't even. <laughs> it was all tucked in. This 
gorgeous project bag. Mm -hmm. This is so me. <laughs> These colors. Mm -hmm. Look at that fabric on the inside. Totally stunning. And then look what's hanging from the zipper. Another. Just another so much care. Another seahorse. Like, just so, so much, much care yeah. and love mm -hmm. in this gift. Like, this is what I'm talking about, right? Like, we don't just make these stitchy little gifts and send them on our way and say, yeah, whatever. We care about each other. Mm -hmm. And there's so much love and care in this gift. I just, I'm totally overwhelmed. I just, mm -hmm. thank you, my friend Lori. I love you to pieces. Hugs and kisses. And I hope you feel better soon. Mm -hmm. Love this. Yeah. So. Amazing. Right? Amazing. It, it's, it's really special to feel that loved mm -hmm. and cared for. I, I, once again, I just don't feel yeah. worthy of such. Just every day I'm grateful love. for yeah. this community, for the people I've met, the people who share their lives with us and yeah. allow us to share our lives with them. Exactly. So, um, we do have, I'm good. I think I'm going to, I know. <laughs> I know. Open my eyes with the floss. I know the only thing I have here is stuff with my daughter's. <laughs> Oh, of fabric. I did forget. Okay, Stitchville. I forgot about this guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to retreat. Sorry. No, okay, it's okay. So, okay. Jump back for a moment. So what was interesting is Pam and Steph, um, like I said, Pam and I just have quite a bit in common, it appears. And it's interesting. We're, one we're pretty certain they're related. <laughs> yeah, we, we're pretty certain that there's somehow a familial connection. Because the more that I see them together, the more I see a resemblance. <laughs> oh, we're pretty goodness. sure because their families come from the exact same yeah. town in Maine. How does that happen? Maine? Yeah. How does that happen? What's well, the town? What is it? Well, no, it's Portland. Portland. But... Portland, Maine. <laughs> How's that? Amazing. Small, so, small world. So one thing we have in common <laughs> is that she attended the University of Illinois and my husband attended the University of Illinois. And um, as a matter of fact, coming up this weekend, Illinois, Iowa, be there. <laughs> <laughs> I will you be. will be. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like so shocked. She gave me a pattern, and now my these are older patterns. You can't get these. And as a matter of fact, when you look at the pattern, it's done before when they had like computer ability to do it. So it's all like I don't know. It's just I would show you, but you like know. hand done. Let's see. Is it hand done? Is that how you would describe Is this it? The one? Let me just look really quickly. Flash Privately corner. in the corner. <laughs> yeah, see? I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. It's all hand done. All the symbols are hand it's drawn. It's all hand drawn. Mm -hmm. The whole thing. But look at this beauty. Ah. Oh. Isn't that cool? My husband's like, that is the best pattern you own. <laughs> <laughs> So, so cool. I L L right there. Yeah. I N I. Hey. And wait a minute. They can't. It's changed. To, their mascot has. has changed. The, the mascot has. So that's what it was when Michael went to school there. The chief. And yeah. Now they're um, the, the Alien Eye. Whatever that is. What's an Alien Eye? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody from Illinois. Maybe. I guess. Yeah. So thank you, Pam. I should have said that <laughs> earlier. I just saw saw him staring. I at know. Me. I was like, going to oh. point it out. I was okay. going to point it out. So it's, okay, we're <laughs> back on schedule. <laughs> uh, my daughter has been <sighs> stitching, and she Amber. Uh, yeah, she's been busy. She's yes. newlywed, and she's happy and, and a I'm new stitcher. And I just yeah, she kind of hopped onto stitching when mm -hmm. we. Kind of back when we were starting our videos, yeah. did you say? Mm -hmm. about, so it's been maybe about a year. Mm -hmm. So her first piece that she has stitched is uh, this by Setsuma Street. Mm -hmm. And there's her finish. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, the colors are really nice. She really enjoys working with DMC. And... Um, it just turned out fabulous. That's the beauty of Satsuma is that she uses really bright, mm -hmm. vivid colors. Mm -hmm. 
So pretty. And then she finished this one off fairly quickly. Mm. And um, this is by Stitch Brovia. Isn't that cute? So cute. She's actually painted a frame in blue to finish it. But, we, you know, well, we were taping. So, okay. <laughs> um, I love that she wanted us to yes, show her finish. I know, I know. She should have been here. She, she should have. She's welcome anytime. She is. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. And so... um. I do have a finish. I finished Shakespeare's Peddler's um, Keys. And, okay, and I started a whip and I don't have, I don't have it with me. <laughs> but here, here's the pattern. So that's what I'm currently working on. Love it. Scissor. Love, love, love it. So that's what's going on right now. This and also, um, oh, it's going to escape me. What example? Little Chicago. Oh yeah. What is that? Is that Satsuma? No. Oh, well. Yes. Yeah, Little Chicago is Satsuma. Yeah. That's the one I've been working on. That and this one. Mm -hmm. And I have been working on my piece on earth, which is from Cottage mm -hmm. Garden Sampling. So I've been back. Got all my bricks laid. <laughs> so now I'm filling in my, <laughs> filling in my windows. I mm -hmm. need to finish my roof. And then there's a, um, another part of the house that needs to be done. But I just love this stitch. I think it's so mm -hmm. much fun. And then at the retreat, my intention was really to finish this at Midwest Cross Stitchers Retreat. And I did start stitching on this. But... My friend Lisa, Kindred <laughs> Stitcher. I know. Who, who, by the way, we love to sing together. Mm -hmm. I was a little horrified because if you watch Pretty Southern's video, <laughs> watch Pretty Southern's video. Um, I had to text Holly. I'm like, uh, Holly. <laughs> It's still in there. Sorry. <laughs> I am finding it still a little bit, but nowhere near to the degree I was, especially when I laughed. But seriously, there was a wedding at the retreat mm -hmm. and the reception was going on and we were on the upper level taking a whole group picture, which I'm sure you've probably seen. And um, all of a sudden, Michael Jackson comes on. <laughs> Billy Jean, hello. <laughs> Anybody who grew up in the 80s is like, yeah, we're all dancing and singing. Billy Jean is not my lover. <laughs> we're all over, like just having a blast, some right? Some are dancing, some are taping. <laughs> yeah, I was dancing and singing. A little crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is it's out so there for fun. the world to see. It is. I was having a good time. Mm -hmm. I'll say that, but it was a little so bit. So this is the one yours. This is yeah. the one. You've got it kitted up and ready to go. I have started it. Mm -hmm. Once I got this at the retreat, I was like, oh, I'm oh, stitching this right. now. You switched over. I that's did. Right. I switched to this because I it's had gorgeous. new fabric. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm going to pick one of my fabric pieces to start it. <coughs> so sorry. <clears throat> so it's Long Dog Samplers. I saw this. I'll preface it with this. I saw this when Anita and I were in Oregon this summer, mm -hmm. and we visited um, the Pacific Northwest Stitchers at Acorns and Threads, and Lisa was stitching was this, and I was like, I'm like what? 50 count or something. <laughs> I don't know, 40? <laughs> 36, 40. I don't know, something. I, I think it's 40. It. She loves 40 count. I She's kind of sucking it. me into the 40 count. I'm like, ooh, yeah, I like that. So... Excuse me. This is Long Dog Samplers, The Love of Two Hearts. This picture does not mm -hmm. do it justice. The, the photo is very pixelated. It it's is. It's very computer. Yep. You know, they. I, I think it's intentional so that it would be hard to copy. Yeah, probably. So if you want to see what it looks like being stitched up, go back to um, one of Kindred Stitcher's older videos mm -hmm. um it's just beautiful like over the summer early fall oh gosh or go to her instagram mm -hmm. stunning so i absolutely had to start it because i had already kitted up all of the threads mm -hmm. i was ready i just 
needed to pick a fabric mm -hmm. and go. So this is nice well, this is a small count. Dart. This is this is um thirty. Well, <clears throat> not that smart. It's thirty-two count Lugana. <laughs> 32 count um, stone gray, which mm -hmm. I love. I'm a huge, um, it's also called nougat, I believe, the stone gray. I mm -hmm. love it. And Lisa's is stitched on a totally different fabric. Um, she's stitching hers on a, um, help me, the gal that dyes flosses like so from does. St. Louis. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Is it Lakeside? Something no. colors. Oh, cotton and color. Cotton. Color and cotton. Color and cut. That sounds right. Is that right? Yeah. Um. So she's doing a hand dyed fabric from color and cotton. Um. It's very golden. Very golden and it and mo very mottled. <clears throat> and of course, mine isn't mottled at all. And it's a, you know, totally different color. So it just changes everything. It just looks totally different. But we were there with a group and you did a floss toss on a couple different fabrics. Mm -hmm. And this fabric by far, just all the colors popped right they off They did. Of it. I showed so, it to Lisa and she was like, mm -hmm. oh yeah. That's she it. liked it too. So yeah. So I'm, I love this. Mm -hmm. So this is my love. I want to get back to it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I need to finish some Christmassy things right. first. So. Well, that's been my goal this year is to try to uh, finish a few whips. Um, I'm down quite a few, but I'm I'm hesitant to start anything new right now just because. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have plans coming up. I know. Did you want to? Oh, a little bit or no? Well, we're, okay. Where are we? I know. <laughs> we're we're maybe, closing maybe on an hour. Maybe next so time. I won't show you my, right. my stash unload haul. Stash unloading, stash unload haul. Um, but I will show you this really quick. With so, an explanation. Yeah. Yeah. So I did get this off stash unloaded, but I'm just going to show you this. Anywho, my sister, when she was here at the end of October, you know, she's known about our videos. I talk a lot mm -hmm. about cross stitch. And she's like, you know, I just want to do something crafty and creative. But she's done cross stitch in the past. She just wasn't. She's like, I don't want to have to think even hard enough to count stitches. I just don't want to do that. I want it to be easier than that, but I want to make something. Mm -hmm. And so I showed her um, a rug that Kathleen mm -hmm. from Kathleen's Trotten Trail um, hooked and donated for the raffle. Stunning. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the, the I, oh my word, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. I would love to know how to do that. It needs but, to be framed under glass. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Museum lighting. Yeah, it's like a, it's called a rug. No. You never want to no, put your feet on it. No. Never. No. No. Mm -hmm. So my sister saw it and was like, yep, I want to do that. And I said, uh, <laughs> I just thought that would just be a little bit too expensive for her life right now. But I suggested punch needle to her mm -hmm. and told her to kind of, you know, look up some videos and stuff on YouTube. And she immediately got excited. I told her what frame to buy, and of course, I'm telling her um, I knew there was a special punch needle she should get, and then, of course, right at that time, we find out that Cameo punch needle is all of a sudden done, and you can't find their needles anywhere, and I'm like, what? My sister, when she went back to Seattle, just kind of put a little message out there over YouTube. Or not YouTube, sorry, over Facebook, mm -hmm. just trying to find some other people in her community that were stitchers or will punch needle stitchers in particular. Um, found a gal over Etsy, um, bought one of her patterns. She only lives maybe a half hour away from my sister. Um, told her she'd love to get together with her. My sister for her birthday on November 3rd, her wish to her husband was that she could go without her children <laughs> to this gal's home and have her show her how to punch needle and so that's what she did, she did. all morning mm -hmm. and so she's made this friend which is really precious and this gal then come to find out designs punch needle patterns has had her designs um published in punch needle and primitive stitcher mm -hmm. magazine like whoa she's right. on the big time yeah she started big right yeah right my sister if you're, if you're gonna do it go big or go home <laughs> right so she starts talking 
at all this. She's showing me her mm-hmm. punch needle, which is turning up adorable. And I'm like, dang it, now I want a punch needle. <laughs> Do I have time to do that? I have a million crosses. No. I do not have time to punch needle, but I kind of want to learn how to do it. So I saw this punch needle pattern on a satchel note. Is he not adorable? Oh my goodness. So, so, so sweet. It's a Teresa Kogut pattern. It's called um, Country Santa. And I just thought he was so sweet. I had to get it. Plus, the fabric was included. Which, you know, this is something we oh, wouldn't God. have. It's, I don't have that. I don't know. So okay. it was a no-brainer. I had to buy it. It's like a piece of cotton. It's yeah. called, I think it's called Weaver's Cloth. Weaver's Cloth? Something, yeah. I'm learning from my sister. <laughs> so here's Beautiful. the deal. Now I need her to show me how, and she's in Seattle. So hopefully well, we can kind you know of... what that means. Got a FaceTime. Another <laughs> trip to the and Threads. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> right. What do you guys say? <laughs> we'll take my sister with us now. Heidi needs to go to Acorns yeah. and Threads too. Oh, so definitely. Yeah. So anywho, I'm kind of excited about this. I'll keep you posted. Mm-hmm. I have no materials yet, but I'm super excited that someone bought the Cameo Punch Needle right. Company so that I can actually get a quality one. I know there's some off ones that are okay, but I really wanted the Kahuna, the big I, Kahuna. I think they, they plan to start distributing in January. Oh, sweet. It's so, coming up, you know. Okay. Um, right. My birthday's so, coming. I don't know. I My plan's <laughs> just to finish up some more whips, and um, some of you might have seen on the Instagram that um, I've started um, scrapbooking again. And surprisingly, um, <laughs> it's a stitchy <laughs> album. So um, I print off a bunch of pictures and I'm going old school. It's got, you know, the paper and the lace and the bits and the pieces from everything. And I, I, I really enjoyed it. I spent all day Saturday with friends. Ooh. And um, right so we're gonna, <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And um, we have also been talking about participating in a stitch along that's going on. Um, maybe Holly should share this one. Button up. Button up. Button up. <laughs> Prairie schooler. Okay, so Amy loves toads. Helen D. Misty. Um, Purcell. Purcell are doing a button-up stitch-along that starts <coughs> on Christmas Day. Christmas Day! And if you watch Amy Loves Toads, bless her oh, sweetheart, we adore her. Her last video. She talks about how button-up was her unicorn. It was kind of mine, too. I mm-hmm. mean, one of a handful. But, holy cow, I have been looking for it also mm-hmm. and wanting it so desperately. So mm-hmm. to find out that it came out, I was just jumping for joy. Mm-hmm. So... Mine is on the way. It's not here yet, but it has been ordered, and I am overjoyed. So I'm hoping to jump in on that sow, but just like so. just like my piece on earth, I jump <laughs> in on these sows, and they take me like right. forever. So I will not finish when those cows finish, but well, it's okay, right? Right. I'm and then while you're doing started. that, um, a mm-hmm. while back, Betty Ulan had gifted me a pattern uh, Nordic holiday that I started. Yeah. And it's in my whip pile, uh-huh. but it's Prairie Schooler, and so I'm going to uh, participate, but work on that pattern instead. Yeah, see? <laughs> so, yeah. So, Prairie oh, Schooler. Prairie Schooler. Gotta love it. I, I know. I love Prairie Schooler. Mm-hmm. I just, Teresa Vanette had talked about this in um, one of her recent videos as well, that, um, you know, she just had it. She had a style that's just timeless. Mm -hmm. It just never, you know, we look back at some of those old patterns with the geese, with the big bows and the teddy bears all over the place. And you look at that and it's outdated and it's Mm -hmm. not of interest anymore. But Prairie Schooler is always of interest. Mm -hmm. She just, she knocked it out of the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you showed me a pattern recently from 87. Yeah, 1987. It could have been from last year. That was been last year. One of my, one of my stash and (laughs) lure. I'm going a little too crazy on the stash and load, but seriously, isn't Uh, he adorable? 1987. So, So, timeless. Maybe next time we'll share some more stash. I don't know. 
there was something that we forgot to share. And so I have, oh. that's why I bolted yes! out oh. because I just was, I, it, mm -hmm. yeah, it was important to me and I'm like, it is. Oh, it's so important. And I, I needed to go dash and get it. So thank you. Right. <laughs> Thanks for chit-chatting. Yep. <laughs> A little Did Botox she, I was going to say, I thought I heard a little <laughs> silence. Thanks for staying tuned. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, first of all, Anita's stitchy album that she's working on, I really feel like you were inspired by Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42. Because Audrey, when we visited her at Acorns and Threads, had this awesome album. She did. A stitchy album. And it right. was just so cool. And I think that kind of mm -hmm. got Anita excited to create something mm -hmm. like that and so she was I wasn't with her she was like texting me pictures of the album I'm like I love that I'm just gonna have her make me an album no. I'm gonna give her all my pictures well, she can make it one a little a while ago I know but I love yours better no. <sighs> I mean mine whatever I'm not gonna go into all that anywho Audrey bless her sweetheart we just love Stitch, you Audrey Stitchy, Stitchy Witch, Witch 42. 42 so she has started hand dyeing some floss. She's trying her hand mm -hmm. at it. You guys, this floss is stunning. It is so beautiful. Maybe I shouldn't mm -hmm. have unwound it, but um, it's just got like purples and blues and grays. It's, it's so pretty. Absolutely she, perfect. She calls it witch's brew. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Audrey to say, this is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And thank you so, so, oh. so, so, so much for sharing with us. We just, we're just honored. Here, mm -hmm. maybe that'll help. I have a we're Kathy so Berry pattern I'm thinking of incorporating that into because it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Yep. Audrey, I want some more. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to message you. I want some more. I will buy some more for we're, you. We're joining the club. <laughs> Your floss club. <laughs> we're in. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh Anywho, goodness. oh my word. Yeah, this is, yeah. It's been a long one. It has been. Thanks but for sticking we, with us. We've really enjoyed this, and we enjoy spending our time together, yes, too. Yes, we you do, know? and we miss, e you know, we mm -hmm. miss each other, because... We live close, We, we do. Live there close. are times that We're it doesn't so... feel... It. No. You, know, you just get going in your life, and so busy and you know we just need to prioritize reprioritize <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's cute um anita's daughter amber who we've talked about tonight has suggested we need to be more regular with our videos right. she loves us enough she feels like we need to have it out there more often um but maybe just because i always feel like do we really have enough to share well and now but, we're like She's like, even if it's just 15 minutes, just right. a 15 minute update once just, a week. So we'll see. We'll try. That might be in our future. <laughs> we'll try. That means we have to really commit to trying to connect, mm -hmm. which can be hard. Well, you and know. she's busy, you know, newlywed and school and everything. Mm -hmm. So it gives her a chance to connect with us as well. Right. You know, On she's her stitching and she wants to watch. <laughs> And I've got to say, she's got a list of favorite floss tubers too now. So That's so cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's been it's been fun. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll get her on here. Yeah. We'll so, see. well, until next time. Um, I think that's it. We're gonna that's it for it. us. <laughs> Love and hugs all around. Mm -hmm. You guys rock. Yeah. Keep stitching. Yeah, and remember always to shine, sparkle, and stitch. Bye, everybody. Bye.